All right, I'm Beck Lane, and this is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst and Company, where my hair does a thing, and then we do other things, and we're catalysts in each other's lives as well as our own. We work at being the artist we've always wanted to be, or that's the intention. So behind me is a, a self-portrait that I started a couple of days ago. Um, I actually did the bulk of it yesterday. It is, like all my other paintings, it's... Um, oil on aerosol on black and white gesso with my black and white stripes gesso stripes spray on the aerosol so i get uh i can add texture and color that i can't get in straight oils and then i add oils over the top and then using neo mcgilp it allow uh, uh using neo mcgilp by gamblin artist colors um i am able to get light to go through the oil down to the aerosol and bounce back out again and i don't use it everywhere i just use it in certain areas i've run out so now we're just down to oil paint and uh, mineral spirits but it's fine it's working out really well and happy for the most part i'm pretty happy with this uh i have a i have a have a venue where i've been asked to hang some artwork again and I don't have a lot for the one particular theme they were asking for, so I figured I'd throw this together, finish up uh, some other paintings, do the edges on the side, and then um, other paintings that I've, I've finished recently, uh, do the edges, put, uh, paint the sides, and then, then we'll have fresh work to hang up in this new venue. So I don't know if anybody's gonna even notice my work there. But regardless, I'm working on this. And what I wanted to address today, let me put this down, was my use of orange uh, and, and different oranges that are available. I use a lot of teals, a lot of blues, obviously, um, the titanium buff, uh, titanium white, um, and oranges, and of course my favorite, uh, transparent earth red or transparent red oxide. So I've, got, I've continued on with the theme, but managed to pull, and manage and managed to pull this together pretty quickly. But as I said, I wanted to kind of uh, talk about the oranges. I just went to the store. Thank you very much, Carrie. Uh, thank you so much. I was out of titanium white, and I wasn't sure what to do, and I was out of oranges. So I've been working with this one orange I was able to get, cadmium orange, by Windsor Newton. And it's not my favorite. Windsor Newton is not my favorite paint. It was like 40 years ago when I was 20. I was like, oh, Windsor Newton is everything. Windsor Newton is the standard is what I thought back then. But as my paintings have progressed and my abilities have progressed, Windsor Newton has gone somewhat downhill. The colors are either really watery or they become grainy. I know they went through this entire period in like the late 80s to 90s where they were really grainy and awful. And I got turned off of it, off of the company completely. But uh, a, I started shopping at a smaller art supply store in Cape Cod. I think it's Cape Cod Art and Frame in Orleans. And a clerk there suggested I try Gamblin Paint. So I've been using Gamblin Artist Paint ever since. And with Neo McGilp, it has completely transformed the way I interact with paint and the way I, the effects that I can get because of, of this company and their colors and their mixtures. So anyway, thank you, Carrie. Again, I was able to go to the store. I just got this and it's already covered with paint. Um, but I was able to go and get instead of just Winsor Newton cadmium, which is all they've had for a couple of weeks, I was able to get permanent orange by Gamblin's, Gamblin Artist Colors. And as we've talked about before, Gamblin Artist Colors has a couple of, they have several different vet, uh, levels of paint, or two levels of paint, but they've also got um, water-soluble oil paint, uh, matte finish paint, which I haven't really tried, and I don't know if I care that much because of how I mix the mineral spirits in, I can get the same effect. But what I tend to get is Gamblin Artist Color 1980 uh, paint. The 1980 paint is a little bit more watery 
it's but it's in a lower price range oh, my nose is so stuffed um excuse me the 1980 brand like i just tried to say is a little bit more watery and the colors are different than the standard uh more professional level the the gambling artist colors line thing but this is half the price this is half the price that is part of the decision i make in in purchasing but it is also um the color is different the color in the teals and and the blues they're a little bit different than in the standard line and so i love having that option god i'm covered I uh, love having that option of different colors from the same company. I like seeing what they do. But this permanent orange, what I wanted to get to was the difference between the cadmium orange, even within the gambling company, and the permanent orange, totally different. I've been working on this with uh, uh, the Windsor Newton, as I said, cadmium orange we always think of cadmium as being a better quality it is for the most part but the color is so different that when i was using the cadmium orange in here i was getting these muted tones i was mixing it with titanium buff a little bit to get a lighter color uh, a little bit of titanium white but not a lot i was also mixing it with um, a version of teal that they have in the 1980 line with a little bit of titanium buff mixing the orange in with that trying to get different different shades of orange i wasn't really happy with them but i brought the permanent orange home which i just got in today i brought the permanent orange home and i'm able to get that really bright effect that i want i want things i want the colors to jump out or certain colors to jump out you can see where i've added i've added it here i've added it here i've added it to here and it's just ba boom. I was using the cadmium orange, orange in the circles that I have applied with aerosol, trying the cadmium orange over those to get the glow effect that I like. And it was just too, too dull. When I squeeze it out and put it on the palette, it looks super bright. It looks almost neon. It's a little ridiculous. But when I apply it, it's not nearly as, as, as um, striking. Whereas the permanent orange, it is just really bright and vibrant. Look at this. I, I mean, I'm not sure if this can actually pick it up or if anybody cares, but this, this was my t-shirt in the photograph, in this self-portrait. This was the t-shirt I was wearing, it was orange. When I had this covered with the permanent, uh, sorry, with the cadmium orange, it was kind of dull. It was dull and it was boring. And we can see that over here. Hopefully you can see it. The difference. It's just a little, it's a little duller. It looks tired. It doesn't feel alive and vibrant. Whereas now I've or added this permanent orange and it's making all the difference in the world. So I'm hoping I can finish. I'm going to put this down. I want to finish this up today. And then I'm going to pull out. I've also worked on a portrait of Gail Fulton Ross. Uh, the portrait artist here from, from in Sarasota, from Sarasota. She's a nationally known or internationally known portrait artist. And I did a portrait of her for an organization called, um, oh God, what are they called? Halo Arts Project. Halo Arts Project is a local organization that helps to fund artists. They're having their annual, they just had their annual open call where you could apply for fellowships and I applied, but I also donated two paintings, one Frida and then this uh, portrait of Gail Fulton Ross to their auction that's happening January 25th. But I'm going to take that um, permanent orange and really make Gail a little bit brighter because she does look, her face, I'll show you, I guess. Is a little dull it's just it's not as vibrant as she should be and this was actually my second go around with her the first one I was filled with anxiety and having a lot of trouble with different things and I had a friend who was very very sick and so for the past month I've been like just 
uh, kind of frozen, really frozen, and the holidays are always so incredibly difficult, so incredibly difficult for me to get through. So between Thanksgiving and now, which is almost New Year's Eve, uh, I've been really, 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 really struggling. So I did the first painting of her and it was evident I was struggling, so I did a second painting and here she is. But I want to, I've got to really brighten up her face and make her feel more even because I was still in a state when I did this. So hopefully now with the new paint and the way I'm feeling now that, you know, we've gone through a full moon and stars have aligned or something's happened, um, I can really pull her out. And so when they get the donation, they have something they can be proud of. And so can I. I'm not handing something over that I know is um, not quite as good as I could do. So I've got those two things going on. I've got a painting that I'm getting ready to put into shade two, which is supposed to happen in February, and then a few other things. But yay, thank you, Carrie. Thank you so much for helping me get that paint as well as a, more titanium white and other things that I've needed to keep moving. And there we are. I'm Beck Lane. This is Catalyst and Company. Um, and if you'd like to help support Catalyst and Company, or if you'd like to ask about pricing on any of the work, all the links are down below. And eventually I'll have links up to uh, the Halo Project where you can buy two of my paintings at a silent auction. And I think the bidding starts pretty low. Uh, I think it, I think it, I saw on their website that the bidding store opens at $75 on whatever they have up. I'm not sure. I usually get things terribly wrong. This seems to be a season of donating work to auctions, but I don't donate to everything. I did, did donate everything I'm asked because, you know, I would really like to pay my rent. Um, but I did donate to... Equality Florida I donated two paintings to them uh, and they both went who else I, I uh, donated to C no also also youth which is a LGBTQ youth organization here in town so I donated to do those three and then I've got two going to um, Halo because these people actually actually really and truly do believe in helping to support the arts community and supporting individual artists and not just people who teach kids how to you know make sock puppets um so i've donated there and i've applied so wish me luck on that one because uh, god knows this is exhausting you know band-aiding all the little projects together oh also um, a friend is working on getting me connections up north for a museum show. And then I've applied to, to a business that is both a boutique hotel. I mean, it sounds awful, but a boutique or techie, but a boutique hotel and a museum. This, this is a, uh, this is kind of a small, uh, ish hotel chain that was uh, started by a husband and wife team, but they collect art. They're like the Rebels, where they're collecting art, but they're not collecting, unlike the Rebels, they're not collecting art and putting them in warehouses. They're collecting art, they're showing the work at their different locations, and they have, I think, five, six locations, I can't remember. But I did send them a uh, pre the presentation portfolio that I showed you the other day, that's where it went. And so I'm hoping to get into more of that, sending presentation kits out to museums and to uh, other forward-thinking people and opening up opportunities as we go into 2024. So again, I'm Beck Lane. All the links are down below. Blah, blah, blah. There we are. All right, Carrie, ready? Thank you again. Thank you so much. And thank you to Eric for always being a big supporter. Valerie for being a good, big supporter. Pam, just everybody who's investing in me. I have been quiet um, because it has been a hard couple of months or few months, um, but that doesn't mean that I've stopped. I hope that helps. All right, ready? Ready, Carrie? Here we go. Ciao. Meow, meow, meow. Boink.